Hello and welcome. Today's video is all about birds. They're the creatures that we probably see more of than any other. But have you taken the time to really look closely and notice the shapes and details that make up a bird? In this video, I'll show you how to use simple shapes and lines to make a variety of garden birds. It's a lot easier than you might expect. The same basic shapes, the same few lines can be made to, used to make lots of different birds. If you like this video or you find it useful, please let YouTube know by clicking the like and subscribe buttons. And to find out about my latest videos, please also click the notification bell. Enjoy. shapes and lines to draw a wood pigeon. So again we're going to start with a semicircle. This time we'll do a long line slanting down the page and now we want to make this a nice fat semicircle because a wood pigeon has a nice large round belly. So I'll get a nice big round semicircle there. There we go. Now on our semicircle, we're going to add another semicircle, this time a small one up at the top here. I'm going to curve around. There we go. A nice small curved line. In the middle of this, we're going to make a little dot and then around that, a circle. There we go. From this dot, we're going to draw a straight line and we're going to make this our arrow shape. There we go. There's our arrow. And this time we're going to connect one end with a curved line and the other end with a curved line. Let's get a little bit of a point there. And underneath, we're going to connect the two semicircles with a small curved line. There we go. Now we're going to extend the straight line for our semicircle, make it nice and long. And we're going to come back up here and we're going to draw a curved line it goes around into a straight line and just connect the two up with a straight line. There we go, we've given our pigeon a wing. Now we're going to make a little triangle pointing down. So we're going to point down here and go back up. And again, we're going to do another one. We're going to point down and point back up for his legs. And we'll do two parallel lines and now point out and back, making long skinny triangles out and back and another long skinny triangle out and back. There we go, there's one foot for our wood pigeon now the other one's pointing the other way, so I'll do a small triangle here. We'll do a very small crescent shape there. And we'll make a longer crescent shape there. There we go, there are some feet for our pigeon. We can give him a bit of a stick or something to sit on. So he's not floating in the air. And now if we go to our curve, we can give this some feather shapes. So we're going to just add some curved shapes 
so they look like feathers. We'll do some more up here because these feathers overlap on the wing. And then down as you get towards the tail, they become longer. So let's give them some longer, thinner ones here. And he's got some kind of triangle shape feathers as he moves down the tail. And there we go. And a few straight ones just at the end. Now over here by the neck, we can just join up these two lines with a curve and give him a few small feathers around the neck as well, little curved lines there. And there we've got our wood pigeon. We're going to draw a great tit, which is a common British garden bird. We're going to start with our semicircle shape. So we'll draw a nice big semicircle around here and we're going to leave it open on one end. So I'm going to close my semicircle down here but leave it open at the top. At the top I'm going to join the ends of my semicircle with a curved line. Just curve it around there. Now we're going to add an arrow. So I'm going to make an arrow coming out here where the two shapes join, a straight line and give it a point. There we go, there's our arrow. And we're going to join up the two sides of our arrow, the top and the bottom to make two triangles. Now from our arrow, we'll draw a straight line back and on this straight line we can make a circle and then another circle inside and that makes our bird's eye. Now we're going to draw our S-curve. So we're going to start just a little below the beak shape. We're going to curve up and around to make an S curve. Now we're going to go down to the other end and we're going to draw two straight lines that are almost parallel, maybe going a little bit out and we're going to connect these up with a point. There we go. Now from the S curve all the way down we're going to make a slight curved line. There we go. That gives us a wing shape. We can add some lines to it, some straight lines like feathers. And now we'll give our feet, our bird, some feet. So we're going to do some parallel lines. One, two, and we'll move across the belly a little bit. One, two and now we're going to draw our crescent moon shape around and connect that to make a crescent moon do the same on the other foot a crescent moon and let's make it look like he's got more than one toe there so we just add a crescent on the outside We'll add a crescent on the outside and we're going to give the bird a twig to sit on. So we can do a slightly wibbly wobbly line here. Give him a twig to sit on up there. And we're going to do a slightly wibbly wobbly line under his feet here. We hop over when we get to the foot, hop over. And there we go, there he's got a twig to sit on. And we can draw a crescent coming around the other side. Just hop over the twig. Same thing there, a little bit. So that he's holding on to his branch. And there we go. There we've got a nice, simple bird drawing. We are going to draw a J. 
So I'm going to start a little bit differently this time. I'll start with the beak and we're going to draw an arrow. So I've got a straight line and I'm going to give it a point. There we go. There's our arrow shape. And I'm going to connect the top of the arrow and the bottom of the arrow. There we go. Now I'm going to come in a little bit from that arrow shape and make a circle. Make another circle around it, just a tiny bit bigger. There we go. There is our bird's eye. Now we're going to go to the top of that arrow shape and we're going to curve it around. We're going to add a curved line that comes around and we're going to go to the bottom and we're going to add a straight line. Now we will do a semicircle, a nice big semicircle for the body. So I'm going to start with a straight line down the back. There we go. And come around and we're going to do a semicircle all the way around and we'll come up to join those. That will do. There's our semicircle shape. Now let's add some legs. So down at the bottom here we're going to make two parallel lines close to each other and we'll add a little half moon shape over here and we'll do that again underneath him. There we go. And add a little half moon shape. Now he's kind of sitting facing slightly away from us so those toes will be curling around the front of the branch away from us. So we'll give him a tweak. Just join that up so that he's got something to sit on so he's not in the air. Just carry it on over there. Add a second line to make it look more twiggy. You can give it a little bit of a wibble wobble. Right, we need to balance him out a bit with a tail. So we're going to carry on that line for the back. Jay has a fairly long tail, so let's do that. Two parallel lines, maybe they get a little bit closer together. And we close them up there. Now we're going to add a wing shape. So we'll start over here where his neck is and we'll just curve it a little bit and then straighten out to go down to meet the tail. And the wing can carry on a little bit like that. There we go. There's a wing shape and that's basically our J done. We can add a little bit of detail, a little bit of thickness around the top of his legs. We've got kind of a little bit of feathery there. We could curve this back a little bit. I know what he needs. He needs a little point of light left in his eye and we can colour the eye dark. There we go. That gives him a lot more life. And a J. That's kind of a slight odd dark shape here under his beak. So we can make that shape, we could colour it later. And I'm going to add some feathers. So it's got a few feathers that kind of curve around here. Shorter ones at the top of the wing. And then add some long lines for long feathers as we go further down the wing. There we go. There's our J. This time we're going to draw a comptit using nice simple shapes for this. So I'm going to start with a diagonal line across and I'm going to do a semicircle. So do a nice rounded semicircle and join that up. There we go. 
Now I'm going to add another semicircle. So I'll continue this line along the back and now we're going to round it off to join up these two semicircles. So from here to here, a nice rounded semicircle. There we go. Now we'll come back to the first semicircle we did and I'll do a little line that crosses out from the circle and give it a little point to make it into an arrow. We're going to join up the top of the arrow and the bottom of the arrow. There we go. Move in a little bit to draw a circle for an eye with a slightly larger circle outside it. There we go. Now we can extend this line and join it up to make a tail. Okay, we're getting there. Now near the back we're going to put a leg. So we'll make two parallel lines coming down diagonally. One, two. Now I'll give him another leg that's coming from the back. So we're going to go from the edge and we're going to go one, two. And he needs some claws so we're going to add kind of like a elongated moon shape there. We'll do a little bit of the moon sticking out from behind and a little bit of the moon just peeking out over there. And we'll do the same thing on the other foot. A long, kind of slightly squashed crescent shape. Another one back there peeking out and let's give him one in the front here peeking out. Now he needs a twig or something to sit on in between those. There we go. There's a twig for him or her. I don't know. Could be either. There we go. There's a twig for our bird to sit on. Right. Let's just carry that on and do a little bit of a shape back there so we can see that he's got a back toe to help hold on as well. And now we're going to take a line from here round to the back to give him a wing. So I'm going to join that up with a slightly curved line. There we go. That's a wing shape for him. And this coal tit has slightly larger feathers up near the top of the wing. We can put some of those in and we can use some long lines to show the longer feathers that go down towards the back. Those get closer together as you get towards the back of the bird. There we go, there are some long feathers for him. And that's pretty much it. Now let's just shade in his eyes. So I'm going to leave a little circle in there for a bit of sparkle and fill in the rest of his eye. And Colt it has a black head but he's got a kind of white mask. So I'm going to make a shape over here that we can leave empty for his white mask. And there we go. You can add details if you like to, but that is our coal tip done. This time we're going to draw one of my favourite birds and that is a robin. So to do our robin I'm going to start out with a semicircle. Do a diagonal line for the back of the semicircle and robins are quite fat so I'm going to do a big rounded 
semicircle. There we go. Let's go over this nice big rounded semicircle. There we go. I'm keeping it a little bit lighter at the top. Now I'm going to go to the top and make a line that points up and make that into an arrow. There we go. We're going to join up the top of the arrow. We're going to join up the bottom of the arrow to make the robin's beak. We're going to come in a little bit and we're going to draw a round eye. There we go. So I might leave a little circle of white in there and colour in my circle to make my robin's eye. Now I'm ready to give him a head. So I'm going to go from here, just the top of the arrow and I'm going to do another semicircle over to the back. There we go. We can just smooth that a little so it blends in a bit. And down at the bottom here, I'm just going to kind of take it in a little bit to join the rest there. There's our Robin's body. And let's give him a tail. We can continue this line out here to give him a tail. And join that up with a feather shape. He needs some legs so we'll do a diagonal line down and another one parallel to it. Oh that's not quite parallel never mind. Let's have another one next to it. There we go one, two, and we'll give him some feet at the end. So we'll do those as kind of slightly elongated moon shapes. There we go, there's one claw. Do that for another claw so he can kind of hold on. And another one, three toes at the front. And now on this leg, Let's assume that he's sitting on something and we can only see the front two there. So let's give him something to sit on. Some kind of stump to perch on there. And we do just a little bit of a claw that goes back. There we go. Now a robin has a nice red breast at the front. So that comes around his head and we're going to kind of curve the line around there to give him a nice red belly and we'll give him some feathers on the wing so it's got some curved shapes there that go back and blend in with the tail so he's got a wing back there can do a few lines to make them more feather-like. A few little lines there. There we go. And that is our Robin done. enjoyed that video. Please remember to click like and subscribe to let YouTube know. Have you had a go at drawing your birds yet? Let me know how you got on by leaving me a comment. Also, if you have any requests for drawings, 
Let me know in the comments and I'll see what I can do. See you at the next video.